Nearly 180,000 people have been ordered to leave as the fire spread. Some are saying that climate change is contributing to the unprecedented fires. And while Michigan has the benefits of four seasons, we may not always think about what climate change looks like for us. We spoke with a local professor and researcher specializing in climate change who broke down the impacts. 13 on your side's Jeremiah Brown joins us now with those details. Jeremiah. Yeah, Julia and Elena, Dr. Stryker says studying climate change involves looking at trends over long periods of time. He says we are seeing gradual changes and the climate will be different in 20 years, just as it is different from 20 years ago. I was shocked this year, you know, December, we have lilac trees in our property and they were blooming. For Professor Kevin Stryker at GVSU's Ennis Water Resources Institute in Muskegon, he says the first point when discussing climate change is the difference between climate and weather. Climate, we're looking at stuff that happens, you could say yearly, but more uh, in terms of decades, as opposed to weather, which just happens, you know, on a daily, weekly, monthly basis. What do we see in terms of climate? We definitely see change. So what does climate change look like here? Well, the big answer is in the Great Lakes. The deepest part of the water, we see uh, increases in temperature. Are we talking major changes? Some people will say anything from 0.2 to 0.5 in the last 50 years. Big change for you and me? No. Big change for, let's say, cold water fish like trout? Absolutely. Uh, great for bacteria, so if we're looking at uh, waterborne pathogens or algal blooms. Great that the water's warming up for them but not for us. Dr. Stryker says the warming Great Lakes are seeing less ice coverage. He says with the water getting warmer, it means the climate we experience is also getting warmer, which can affect everything from bird migrations to blooming seasons. As humans, we, we respond very well to rapid changes. If I slap you, there's gonna be a response. Uh, but if I don't, and I kind of you know tap you every day for the next 20 years, you're gonna notice at some point, hey, what the heck's going on? Climate change is kind of like that. We see slow, subtle changes. While he doesn't believe climate change is something that can be stopped completely, he says little changes, such as embracing new technologies to reduce carbon emissions, can make a big impact. But ultimately, he wants people to stay curious and seek to understand new information. Is the world going to end in 100 years? I doubt it. Is the world going to be warm as a consequence? We believe so, but question the data. Go and have a look for yourself. Don't take somebody's word look at it. You go talk to somebody who is studying it. Uh, look at the data. Uh, challenge uh, and, and ask questions. And as we talk about snowfall here, Dr. Stryker says with less ice cover on the lake comes a longer period for moisture to evaporate into the atmosphere. That means more energy to power lake effects. No. In the newsroom, Jeremiah Brown, 13 on your side.